Hi. Now, if you haven't seen this question before, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video and attempt it. When you come back, you can check your working and methods against mine. Okay, welcome back then, if you had a go. So, for this question then, we've got to find the probability that exactly six ask for water with their meal. So, what I'm going to do, first of all, is define a random variable, and we'll say it's x. Let x be the random variable, that's rv for short, and it's going to be the number of people who ask for water. So, I'll just abbreviate it to number asking for water, okay? And we've got to decide what kind of distribution that this random variable x follows. Well, we've got a finite number of trials, 10, and a customer will either ask for water or not ask for water. And the probability of asking for water remains constant at three-fifths. So, assuming that events occur at random and are independent to one another, we've got that this random variable x follows a binomial distribution. So we can say where x is distributed binomially, we've got 10 trials, and the probability of success, that is asking for a drink, is three-fifths, three out of every five, then ask for water. So we've got that. And in this first one, then, we're being asked, what's the probability that we get exactly six people asking for water? So that's the probability that x equals six. And we should know that from the binomial distribution, if x is distributed binomially, n trials, probability of p is success, then the probability x equals r is equal to ncr, p to the power n, q to the power n minus r where q is equal to 1 minus p. And if you're unfamiliar with this, do go back and check my video tutorials on this. So on that basis then, this is going to be equal to 10c6. And then the probability of success is 3 fifths. And we want that to occur six times. So it's 3 fifths to the power 6. And then we've got failure, which is going to be 1 minus 3 fifths, which is 2 fifths. And that's going to occur 4 times. So that's the power 4. And if you work this out on your calculator, you should find you get 0.2508 and so on. And if we round this, say, to three significant figures, it's going to be 0.251 to 3 SF, three sig figs for short. Okay, so that's the first part then. And now moving on to the second part. In this one, we've got to find the probability that less than nine ask for water with their meal. So we're looking for the probability then that x is less than nine. And the easiest way of doing this is to think that all the, van all the probabilities for x going from 0 to 10 would be 1. And if we were to do 1 minus the probability that x is 9 or more, then we'll have the probability x is less than 9. So it's going to be the probability x equals 9. And if I put that in square brackets, plus the probability that x equals 10. So... It's just a question of working these out. So we've got 1 minus, and for the probability of x equaling 9, it's going to be 10c9. Probability of success, that's 3 fifths to the power 9, and the probability of failure, 2 fifths, that's going to be to the, uh, to the power 1. And then to this, we've got to add, and I'll just come down here, probability x equals 10, which is going to be 10c10, 10, 3 fifths to the power 10, and 2 fifths to the power 0. And if you work this out on your calculator, you should find you get 0 0.9536 and so on, which, when rounded to three significant figures, is going to be 0 0.954 to 3SF. Okay?